Hey y'all, this is Nina Stevens. I'm in the South where sushi is still called bait. So this is, eh, thought it was a wasp. I was supposed to have a heart attack. So this is the first official, official update of how it's going with the ketogenic diet. So uh, I'm not real sure um how what would be the best process for doing an update i've never done one before but this is what i'm going to do so when i started um the first week i didn't do um a video or or take any notes or any of that because I was going through what I think was keto flu. That's where I was adjusting to eating this way. I had headaches. I had um, uh, brain fog. Um, but I did okay. I made it through that first week. So then, um, the second week, I tried to log what I ate using my fitness pal which is okay except for those little <laughs> those little ugly little messages you get from from uh, my fitness pal that says excuse me excuse me you have not ate enough calories for today um, <laughs> I love it so starting out at the beginning of the week um, I had you know I, I ate all my calories I kept my calories low but I kept my I mean my my calorie <sighs> okay let me start over okay so I'm trying to keep my calories under 1600 for the day and that seems like a lot um, but I don't want to lose a whole bunch of weight at one time so this is what fitness pal says will help me lose two pounds a week so that's my goal is to lose at least two pounds a week but my main objective with the ketogenic diet is to keep or the ketogenic way of eating is to keep my carbs under 20 carbs a day so I don't want to go over 20 carbs in a day so I started the ketogenic way of eating on and I got my calendar in front of me because I can't remember Jack I started on June the 6th um, and that was the when I decided to start the ketogenic way of eating so as of June the 6th my goal my overall goal is to lose a hundred pounds remember how I told you <sighs> yeah so the first week um, that was on Tuesday June the 6th so on the following Sunday I considered that the end of my I call it a prorated week <laughs> it's prorated <clears throat> so on Sunday June the 11th I ended my first week there and I had a loss of for that week five pounds but um, which I thought was excellent I think I considered most of that water weight because that first week I had such brain fog um, and um, headaches and um, it was awful well it wasn't really awful bad but I could tell that I had issues with the carbs I missed my bread okay <clears throat> so I did I had a loss that first week of five pounds that meant that for my overall goal I had 95 pounds to go so
So I have um, clips of my foods that I took photos of, and and this is in case you're interested in what I'm what I'm eating and how I'm doing it. Um, you may not be interested, but I thought it was pretty cool. So I took photos and um, screenshots screenshots of my macros which is my carb count for the day um, I did that pretty good every day so I'm going to insert those clips here so you can see what I ate or some of the foods that I fixed now if I did um, like at the beginning for Monday my breakfast if I repeated that I didn't take another picture because you all know what two fried eggs and two slices of bacon look like so I just put a you know a caption in there saying I had breakfast and I had two fried eggs and two pieces of bacon for that day I didn't take another picture Anyway, I trucked right along Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay, on Wednesday, which was June the 14th, I went to Walmart and I got some keto strips. Now, this may be an uncomfortable topic, so I'm going to warn you. It's got to do with urine. So if you're offended by that, you might want to switch to another video or whatever. But, just to warn you, this is talking about urine, okay? <clears throat> so, I'm going to insert a photo of the keto strips that I used. Right here. So these keto strips I got at Walmart and the purpose of the keto strip is to test your urine to see if you have ketones in your urine. Um, you want, when you're doing low carb and trying to lose weight, you want ketones in your urine. Um, it means you're in a state of ketosis where instead of burning carbs, you're burning fat. You have to get what's called fat adapted and that means switching your body, which my body has burnt. My body has worked on carbs for my entire adult life. I need bread, potatoes, rice. You know, that's my 
that's been the way that I've eaten my entire adult life. So changing that is going to be, or has been, or, you know, has been difficult for this old country girl. Because <laughs> when you're in the South and you want some rice and gravy and some biscuits, you know, that's where it's at. <clears throat> so I got these keto strips from Walmart. I tested my urine and I am in ketosis, or I was on that day. So, then I started weighing myself every day. And I think, you know, it just kind of keeps me on track. Because if I eat something with more sodium, I'm very susceptible to swelling from eating too much sodium. But when you're doing the keto diet, I find that if you don't have enough sodium, you cramp. At night okay let me tell you I'm not a morning person to begin with these bright and chirpy morning people need to be shot that's just my personal opinion I'm not a morning person so when my sleep is interrupted by a cramp I get really irritated okay so sometimes in this last, in this week, which is actually the second week of this ketogenic way of eating, some of these nights I have been waking up, I have been woken up twice in one night with a cramp that I had to get up out of the bed and walk this cramp out of my leg. Let me tell you, that does not make for a happy country girl. So, I did the keto test on Wednesday so on Thursday morning I had a loss of 2.8 pounds since Sunday which I thought was cool because my goal was to lose two pounds or is to lose two pounds every week so on Thursday I had lost 2.8 pounds Friday I lost another 0.6 then yesterday came along so I had my grandkids over here bless them they don't like the keto way of eating so when I fixed them their lunch um, I caved and ate with them what they ate so I gained one pound I didn't I didn't sweat it I didn't you know get upset about it or whatever um, so I went right back to my regular way of eating and I lost that pound so as of this morning I've lost this week I've lost five pounds that means that total my total loss for since June the 6th has been 10 pounds total that means so so far I've lost a total of 10 pounds 
um, doing this ketogenic way of eating. That means I've got 90 pounds to reach my goal. Um, I've got, that means I've got 90 pounds left to go. So, I'm doing okay. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how long I can stick with this. Um, so, I appreciate you following along with me and um, hopefully it'll go okay. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.